go then. Heat number eight. Everybody wanting more this time. Tapes up. We're into the first turn. Lambert's got there. Round the outside. Comes Lebedev. What a first corner from Lebedev. Held it absolutely flat out and just roared to the front. Now coming up the inside is Kubera. No, not quite managing to get there. Lambert settling in second place with Beauty at the back. Stunning first corner from Lebedev. Yeah, I don't know how Lebedev does it, but he's got a, a weird style in the first turn in particular. On, on every race, he just gets the bike, finding that bit of extra traction. Whichever gate he comes from, he's coming under pressure now, though. He's gone defensive around the inside. It's giving Lambert all the room. I've got a feeling Lambert could be getting by him. Right, Lambert now beginning to put a lot of pressure on Lebedev. Charging into the final lap. Lebedev's going wide. Lambert charging back up the inside. Ooh, that was tight, that was. Lebedev's holding firm. He's got a bit untidy in the second half of the race. It's going to get very, very close as we go to the conclusion. Lebedev holds on. He deserved that, really, because that first corner was outstanding from Lebedev. Got the better of the opposition. Then possibly began to doubt himself halfway through the race. Got untidy. Lambert got back in it. But Lebedev holds on. Terrific ride. Three points for him out in front. Robert Lambert charging hard in second place. Two points for him. Dominic Cabrera one point in third. And disappointment for Dan Bewley failing to score. Here's the position after everybody's had two rides. Thompson leads the way on six. Smarslik and Janowski on five. Lebedev's moving on to four. Along with Nielsen, Jensen and and uh, Huckenbeck and Max Frick and a whole load of them in actual fact <laughs> are on uh, on three points so that was a super ride he, he nearly threw it away but uh, then sheer determination kicked in and he picked up a super win yeah I'm not sure what he does in the first turn but he does it a lot he just he's, he, he shifts his body just into the right place he gets the bike cruising forward at a great rate of knots and it was a lovely first turn from him he came under a lot of pressure later on in the race from robert lambert he was working the outside i've got to say on turns three and four really wasn't working for him he was losing ground uh, but initially Lebedev started on the outside and he and the bike was working good for him then he just suddenly went defensive went around the inside that's when robert lambert was able to uh, make a bit of ground up on him but uh, super super stuff from uh, Andre Lebedev. Indeed, there we see in the action once again where it got very tight, sort of mid-race. But uh, that man, as I say, he's as strong as an ox. Smashing lad as well, chatting to him earlier today. He really was quite relaxed, but uh, there's no doubt his form has improved in the second half of the campaign. He's got a European Championship on the line, of course, where he could clinch that in Poland just in seven days, seven days' time.